Hey everyone, my name's Cliff, and today I'm gonna teach you all how to juggle. Uh, so we're gonna start out with the basic three balls, just like that, and then uh, maybe we'll get into some more tricks after that once you've mastered that. All right, so first we're gonna start out with just two balls to practice. Uh, and one thing that I like to remember when I'm juggling is to sort of make this imaginary box in my head. So just like this. Uh, and the purpose of that is to just sort of remember to control where you're throwing up each ball. Um, so I like to aim each ball towards the opposite corner of that imaginary box. Uh, so we throw up the first ball, we have two balls in two hands. We throw up the first ball towards that opposite corner. And then while that ball is in midair, we want to cross the other ball and aim towards the opposite corner. And then obviously catch with the opposite hands. Uh, so just like this. Boom, 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 boom. And while you're doing this, you want to just uh, focus on throwing them up towards a uh, constant height on uh, and in this, around the same spot every time just so it's very easy to catch um, and keep practicing this until you've mastered it and you're ready to add a third ball all right so once we've mastered that two balls and two hands technique we're ready to add the third ball um, remember remember to make that box in your head if that helps you um, and just remember to throw each ball towards that towards that corner of the box uh, around the same height, around the same spot every time. Try to be consistent um, and we're ready to go. So the way we start it, it's the same as with two balls and two hands. We just throw the first ball up, second ball cross. Um, but then instead of stopping and catching the second ball, we're gonna throw the third ball up and cross that one um, before catching the second ball. So it's like this. And then once you once you get that, and maybe practice that a couple times, just throwing the three balls up, and catch. Or you can start with your left hand if you want to. And then maybe try adding the fourth ball in, the fourth throw in. Not the fourth ball, the fourth throw. Two, three, four. And once you're comfortable with that, then you're basically ready to just start juggling. You just keep going. And that's how you juggle with three balls. One more thing to mention when we're practicing with three balls um, is that box approach really helps us uh, keep in mind the path of each of the balls as we're crossing them, um, like that. Um, so if we're hitting the outside of the boxes, sort of those diagonal crosses, and we're timing it right, then the balls aren't going to knock into each other like that. Right? So we're gonna have these three distinct these distinct paths going on and it's gonna be a lot easier to catch and, and continue um, instead of just having it all over the place hitting each other like that. Alright, so now that we've learned how to juggle with three balls, it's time to learn some new tricks. Uh, so a really simple one that you can start out with is um, adding in some outside crosses. So the way that we normally juggle, we learned how to juggle, is um, a series of these inside crosses. But what if we added in some outside crosses like this? Just these circular arcs on the outside. That sort of adds a different flavor to our juggling. Um, so how do we learn this? So I would basically start out the same way that we learned how to juggle three balls in the regular fashion. So we'd start out with the first two balls, just cross them on the inside. And then with the third ball, instead of crossing on the inside like we learned how to do um, with the regular juggling, cross the third ball on the outside like that. Um, I'm starting out with my right hand, which is my dominant hand. Whoops that um, but you can start if you're left you can start out with your left hand whatever whatever you choose um, I just keep doing this until I'm totally comfortable with the outside cross maybe add in another cycle if, if, um, if that if uh, you get comfortable with just the one cycle just like this um, and then once you're comfortable with your dominant hand maybe switch to your non-dominant hand so my left hand's just gonna keep doing that till I'm really comfortable with it Add in another cycle. Then once you get both sides down, then you can mix in both sides like this. Um, so here I'm alternating the inside cross with the outside cross, or you can just do all outside crosses like this. Or you can just focus on one side. Just This is my right side, my left side. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of combinations that you can do with that one. It's really fun to mix in with just your regular, regular juggling pattern. 
Um, yeah, that's why I like that one so much. It's really easy to pick up once you learn how to juggle three balls. All right, so the next trick that we're gonna learn um, is, uh, is something called the waterfall. Um, it looks a little bit like this. So basically you're making sort of this waterfall pattern with the three balls. Um, so the way that, that you're, we're gonna start to learn this one is just by removing one ball, starting out with two balls again, just like we were doing in the beginning. Um, and just doing sort of this, you might, you might have seen people doing this before, uh, just throwing one ball up in sort of this big waterfall arc, like that. And while that ball's in the air, toss the second ball to your other hand like this. So I like to keep my eye on the ball that's in the air, on the, in this case the one ball in the air. Once we have the third ball, the two balls that are in the air. Um, and sort of just rely on myself catching the second ball because my two hands are close together. Um, so boom, 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 boom. I just keep working on this until you get it down. And then we can add in the third ball. All right, let's add the third ball to our waterfall trick. So like usual, we're gonna practice just doing the first three throws. Uh, so what's unique about this trick is we're gonna throw, instead of switching hands, we're gonna throw the first two balls in our, from our first hand, my right hands, um, and then quickly toss the third ball from left to right hand, so it's like this. So one, two, three, and you see that quick toss from my left hand to my right hand. One thing to note is you're gonna you're gonna have this tendency when you're first starting out to after you throw the first two balls up high, you're gonna want to throw the third ball up like that. But you don't want that. You want just a quick, almost exchange from left hand to right hand or right hand to left hand if you're doing it the other way, like that. And we want to we want to have this nice long circular arc like a waterfall. And once you get comfortable with the first three throws. You add in another cycle, like that, and then there it is. The next trick we're going to learn is the under the leg. So it's going to look a little bit like regular juggling, except we're going to mix in some under the leg tosses. So the first thing that we want to work on with this trick is just practicing the under the leg toss, so just like that. And I like bringing my leg up, my sort of my knee up, um, a little higher than waist high. And uh, that, that just allows me to not have to reach down too much when making the throw. Because it's really important to make sort of this quick throwing motion um, so that you can get right back into juggling after making the under the leg toss. So I'll just keep practicing that. Another important thing is you wanna really make sure you're, you're still aiming for those corners of the box that we've been talking about. You still want an accurate throw to your opposite hands. Uh, just again, to be able to continue juggling after making that under the leg toss. And um, you can work on throwing the ball either inside the leg like that or outside the leg like this. Outside, a little inside. You can work on both, inside, outside, yeah. All right, now we're gonna add in the second ball to the under the leg trick. Um, so I'm gonna show both sides. I'm gonna start out first throwing the ball under the leg with my right hands. Um, and I'm gonna do the, the inside the leg approach. So I'm gonna bring up my, my left leg and throw underneath like that, as opposed to bringing up uh, the same leg and going under like that. I just think it's a bit easier to go opposite leg for some reason. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. Uh, so I'm gonna start out tossing up the ball in my left hands. And then instead of crossing underneath, like a regular juggling pattern, I'm gonna cross under my leg like that. And again, you wanna sort of just have this quick, smooth toss under the leg. Um, definitely take some practice. You might wanna actually throw the, the first ball up a little bit higher to give yourself more time to do that under the leg toss if you're a little shaky at it at first. Whoops, so that was a wild throw right there. All right, so now I'm gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna go right ball up first, bring my right leg up and cross under with my left leg, with my left hand. 
just like that. And as usual, just keep doing that until it feels comfortable. Okay, now let's try adding in that third ball. So first we're just gonna work on the first three throws, just to see how that works. The first two balls are gonna be pretty normal, one, two. And the third ball is the one that's gonna go under the leg like that. So one, two, three. So I'm starting out with two balls in my right hands. So I know the third ball is gonna come from my right hand and it's gonna go underneath my left leg, so I'm going opposite leg. So it's gonna be one, two, three. I'm gonna practice that a few times. One tip, if you're just starting out, might be throwing that second ball up a little bit higher like that. You know, not that high, but a little bit higher. So give yourself a little bit more time to get that third throw under the leg down. But once you're comfortable with it, you wanna work on just normal, comfortable throws like that, um, just to work in while you're, while you're doing a your regular juggling pattern. Uh, so now I'm gonna switch sides. Two balls in my left hand. It's gonna go under my right leg. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Once you get to both sides down, then you can mix both of them in. Just like that. The next trick we're gonna learn is the behind the back. So this trick is very similar to the under the leg one that we just did. Um, so we're just gonna start out with one ball and just working on our, our form, throwing the ball behind the back and catching it with the other hands. So right hand, you wanna throw it behind your left shoulder, left hand behind your right shoulder, and just practice that a little, bit, a little while, making sure that you're making accurate throws, um, a, little away, a little away from your body and catching them just like that. Now we're gonna add in that second ball. Uh, so again, very similar to under the leg. We're just gonna do first throw, and then while that ball's in the air, behind the back, catch both, one, two, one, two. Switch sides, one, two, one, two. Maybe throw the ball up a little higher, give yourself more time behind the back, one more. So now we got three balls. So we're gonna go one, two, the first two, and the third ball is gonna go behind the back like that. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna switch sides, so two of my left hands, and the third ball is gonna go behind the right shoulder. So one, two, three now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. All right, now that we got both sides down, let's try mixing in, mixing both sides together, maybe adding in some juggling in between. So something like this. So this next trick is gonna be the same thing as regular juggling, except catching each ball with our palms down like this. All right, so I would start out practicing this one just by getting comfortable uh, catching the ball palms down. If you're not already comfortable with it, so just throwing the ball up, catching it with our palm down, both hands, just like that. Okay, and then once we're bringing the second ball, it's the same thing as when we first learned how to juggle with the two balls in two hands, except now we're gonna have our palms facing down, obviously, and just do that, one, two, one, two. All right, so now that we're, at, we're ready to add in the third ball, just practice the same way we learned how to juggle with three balls, so the one, two, three, except now with our palms down, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just keep doing that until you're comfortable with it. Um, and then and a few more throws when you're ready. And then you're ready to just keep going. This next trick we're only gonna need two balls for because this is two balls in one hand. So two balls in two hands, you might remember. Just one, two, crossing like that. Two balls in one hand is a lot harder. It's gonna look something like this. All right, so the, the key with this trick 
is since you're throwing them up both at the same hand and catching the same hands, you want to make sure the balls don't collide in the air like that. Um, while also making sure that you're keeping a controlled juggling. So you're not, you don't want to do something like this where your hand's moving back and forth, right? Because that's very uncontrolled. So the way I like to do this is by doing this left to right pattern. So you throw the first ball up, move the second ball to the left, and then sort of throw it back in like this circular motion back towards the hand like that. Um, so it's gonna look something like this. So you can see I'm making sort of this left to right, these left to right circles. And that keeps it pretty controlled while also making sure each ball is in, in their distinct plane. So just like that. Um, so the other way to do this is um, to do a front and back pattern. Uh, so, so again, you throw the first ball up, but now bring instead of bringing this ball to the left or the right, you bring it front, forward, um, and throw it backwards. So it's going to look something like this. Um, I prefer the left to right, the side to side pattern, um, but it's up to you. Um, and so to practice this, um, I just throw the first two balls up, one, two, just keep doing that until it feels comfortable. Maybe experiment with the front and back and the side to side and see which one you like better. Um, and once you get the hang of it, maybe switch hands. And then you can keep going once you're comfortable. So one of the cool things about this trick is that once you master both sides, that's when you can start juggling four balls. It's just the same thing, two balls in one hand on both sides. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Keep practicing. So the trick with this juggling trick, next trick we're going to learn is the behind the back. One more. No, one more, no. It's down, like this. All right, so now we're going to go three balls. So first two throws, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Going four balls.